You got Luffy and this shit, king of the rappers. What's up, gang? It's Marauda Music with three piece TCG, big beard TCG, and 2D. I'm coming at you with the mommy nami. Now, in recent times since this band list, and even before, you've seen Nami succeeding, right? And now there's a lot of speculation, a lot of worry, a lot of concern that Nami is just going to take over. It's going to be Nami piece. You know what I'm saying? The It's going to be Nami the TCG, right? Solitaire, competitive solitaire, right? Cool. Um, how do we feel about this? How are we all thinking about this? Well, it sounds like people are feeling that anybody who's been playing Nami, especially since 03, is going to just be dominant or even worse when I hear them talk about it, that people are just going to flood the tournaments with Nami. Like, you know, you're going to see 100 and 200 Namis, right? The Nami Navy, if you will. Well, what I did was to experiment. I took the list, uh, tech deck the list from uh, uh, Mr. Adam Cisneros from North America, who just won a 1,024 player core tcg tournament with nami right now this is his list right here so i went ahead and tech decked it and brought it over here uh you're not gonna see the some usual suspects are missing uh you're not seeing mr one uh let's see if we can find him for you fellas uh mr one yes so uh, Mr. One was somebody who would bring back like a, a giant gavel. You know what I mean? Any one cost, uh, I guess it was just those two, uh, Desert Spada. Any one cost uh, event, right? And then you're also missing uh, Deathwink, which was what you would see when somebody would be like down to their last card, right? And they got a bunch of Dawn up. You swing into them and they go up 6k they go up to 11 they draw two cards and they counter out of everything cool uh this one is missing and in its place because it was typically two mr ones and sometimes two death wings right maybe a little more apis apis um i haven't seen them in a while so i forget what they're called how they're pronounced anyways uh <laughs> now you're seeing the booty man red at one uh mr hanger uh, I guess you can hang it off his ass. But anyways, uh, you may trash one card from your hand and rest this character. Draw one. I don't know how that works when you're going up against a lot of decks that can bottom or or pop, you know, a two cost with the greatest of ease. However, you can trash, you can activate his ability as soon as you play him. So he is an immediate draw one card and trash one from your hand. So there's that. Now, uh, this I can't figure out for the life of me. Uh, I don't think this is a card that you actually play. I haven't watched them play, by the way. Uh, I have just started playing Nami about a week or two ago because I was just wanting to understand the ins and outs of the deck because I did feel like it was a bit more prevalent. And uh, in doing so, I did learn how to uh, play against it and... You know, I beat two Namis uh, in my first three matches uh, this past locals. So anyhow, I believe that this is a 2K counter. And the reason why is because it's on playability is if you have two or more characters in play with the Amazon Lily or the Coochie Pirates, as I like to call them, uh, return up to one of your opponent's cost three or less characters to its owner's hand. I don't understand why I'd want to put a character back into somebody's hand. I just, for the life of me, I don't understand. And we don't reduce cost. So, you know, I thought at first I was like, oh, yeah, another card that's going to bring back Akaya. Bring back, bring back, bring back, bring. No, 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 no. They mean somebody else. So I think it's just for those sticky situations where you have a uh, you have somebody swinging six at you or swinging five at you, and you want a designated card that's going to be a counter. So I'm not going to read too much into that. I'm just going to the point of this video is to play it out, win, lose, or draw, and see what we can do. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to see what we can. I'm going to try and grab some meta leaders and uh, see what we can do for you guys. So. Um, this isn't going to be a in-depth guide review on Nami, but you will see how it's played and you will understand what we're looking for. I will talk it out and explain as we go. All right, so I got you guys a really interesting match right here. Um, we are going up against Reiju, somebody who is highly touted as a big winner in the um, 
with the band patch or band balance, whatever. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and keep this and I'll tell you why, because we don't have any all-stars in it. Uh, any of my Sanji's peel off, which I want to see in my life. So we're going to see what we can grab. Uh, we're looking for the coochie pirates and we can't grab none of this, but we can set it up for how we want it. Um, I'm going to want this to draw into this. Yeah, we'll just do it like that and say fuck it. Okay, uh, pass it back. Now, Reju, I believe, is going to be really good because um, they're a fast leader. And they're able to uh, execute their game plan even more um, efficiently now that they have Porsche at their disposal. I was playing against Carnage and they were able to fucking bring out Porsche, play out fucking uh, Ichiji, as, Ikiki as I like to call them. All right, so we're going to keep looking and we, we were looking for dances, couldn't find no dances and we got nothing else. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do this and do this. I want to stagger them a bit just to uh, stagger them a bit just so that when I draw two trash two, I draw two cards that, you know what I mean? I don't want to ever have to even think about trashing Akaya. Did suck to see two of them, but we know we'll see them again. They're playing well. They got Kaya's. How come they can play Kaya? I always love when their deck, uh, my opponent's deck is less than mine. I, I, it makes me feel like I'm playing Nami really well. Okay, going to get a little KO action here. Uh, for this, I'm going to go ahead and do that. See if I can set my hand up. And we like this. Start placing on top. This is great. That's really good. Resolve that attack. Give me that Kaya. Kaya. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and play, I'll play out of Kaya. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to trash there and then we will, we'll trash here and I will pass. So when I when he swings next, we're gonna be looking to do Desert Spada, figure out the next three cards in our uh, I was gonna say life next three cards in our deck, and then after that, uh, we will be using this card to pull Kaya back unless he gets another Niji, which it doesn't look like he can afford right now. So that's good. Um, with that being done, though, I will go ahead and do this. Boom, bang, and I survive that. Swinging five, I will give you this. And let's see what our next three cards are. Okay, so I'm actually going to want this card here because I'm going to draw two trash two and I'll probably trash something, one of these. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I make it through that attack. And this one I'll go ahead and take because I'm looking to see a trigger now. We get a trigger. Is it a good one? Return one character with a cost of four or less to its owner's hand. Nah, no trigger. Okay, so now I am going to go ahead and play out Nakaya. And we're definitely trashing here. That makes that makes our thinking a lot easier. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trash there. Let's go ahead and play her. Just draw a card. Uh, love love beam is going to work all these are going to work great with us so we'll go ahead and pass so this is going to work great because uh this is going to give us plus 4k power then we draw one if we have three or less in hand and we do this is going to work uh mm, not as great we're going to uh trash that card because we're not doing anything with it anyways right um and then we get to mill two cards off the top of the deck and we get uh 4k so there is a world where we just take one hit uh, or no hits if I want to utilize my blocker. If he has another one of these, what he could do is put this back in my hand. So there's some, that's, that's something to think about. And in my hand, this card has zero value. What is this? Draw one card. Sasaki. Um, for this, I will go ahead and block. 
Yeah, I'll go ahead and block that. I can comfortably counter out of these cards. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. And that's that. And now I'm going to do this one. And trash from deck and resolve. And we've made it out without taking a hit. And we're almost catching up to them. That's really good. Okay, so I'm going to play them out. See if I can get another one. Cool. Uh, we got this. We can play this. Um, I like to put Desert Spot on top. I don't know that it makes that much of a difference. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, cool. And then we'll play that out. We draw a card. And now we've got five and that. Let's see if I can just get a card out of his hand. All right, well, it's worth a try. Okay, so next we're looking at, uh, that'll be for one, and then uh, we trashed our top, tar top card of our deck, and then for our next one, we play Deathwink and we draw two cards. So they're doing the classic, don't do that. Uh, let's see, for that, I will give you one. No blocker. Uh, yes, we will trash card from deck. Ah, eh, not bad. Guys, I really uh, recommend you don't do this because uh, what happens is sometimes I'll get a trigger out of life real quick. I can show you uh, that one. Return a character before or less to the hand. I returned a uh, Rebecca that had 9K because I had four Dawn on it. Uh, I will go ahead and actually uh, take this one. Okay. Oh, I'm a fucking fool. I am a fucking fool. Oh, I'm a bigger fucking fool. Damn it. Fucked up. Fucked up. Fucked up. Fucked up. My bad, guys. All right. So. I'm going to block. Damn it. I fucked up. I did not mean to do that. Cool. Cool. Now I can't even, yeah, now I got to take it anyways. Whatever. That's not bad. Okay, so again, though, this is, we are establishing, we, we are playing as a newbie here, right? So this is to dispel the rumors that all anybody who plays this deck will be successful against the meta. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and draw two cards. Mm. As much as I'd like to draw another two cards, I need to have some up. So this will leave me with four. I can dance. I can dance. And then I'm screwed. But I do have a block. And I would bring back a 2K. Now nah, we're going to go ahead and keep dance, dance, revolution. Let's go ahead and keep it like this, gang. They're going into seven dawn, so it's not the most. So the reason I didn't play this out, because that would have left me with just four. And as you see, they're swinging a bunch of sixes at me. And that counters a six. That counters a six. Well, actually, that makes me six for the turn. And then, you know, I can counter, 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 counter. So that's one, two, three, four uh, that I can possibly make it for the turn. So we'll see. If they swing a five, that would be great. We'll take the first five they swing at us, and I'll do that. I'll play this card, White Snake. Six. Okay. Cool. So we can go six and then eight. So that works out too. So we'll do that. Get the draw card. I will do that. Trash card from deck. We got it. Now we're six for the rest of the turn. Uh, for that, we got one, two, three, four more attacks. Um, I'll go ahead and let's go ahead and just take and see what we get. Return one of your uh, opponents cost five or lower cards to the owner's hand. We'll do that.
Ah, you dumb bitch. Damn, I misread that. I thought it was... Oh. Nice. Nice. I didn't know it does all that. I'll take it. Um, And now for that... We'll give him... I guess a snake dance. And we'll do this and this. Cool. And now for that, we'll give him the old lady. And now for that, I don't have three in hand, so I don't want to use that, but I don't want to waste this little combo. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And then, yeah, we like to proc those when they work, but it is what it is. Okay, so we got 15 in hand. We don't, we don't, we, this can be six right here, which would give us a block and keep a 2K in hand. Let's see what we get real quick. Okay. Let's go ahead and draw two cards. We got the fabled death wink in hand, and that's it. We kind of fucked. We kind of fucked. I probably shouldn't have played that. Yeah, I could really use three more. So right now, I'm setting myself up to have to use my Kaya and my Apis, and then the Rubber Band, and then Deathwink. And the Deathwink isn't going to do anything but like block a big attack for me, because I won't be getting any cards back. Yeah, if I wanted two cards, I should have played that, and I could have two more Dawn, and I'd be at six Dawn. That's a lot more manageable. I mis I misplayed that one, and then this would have brought that back. Yeah, I misplayed that, for sure. Okay, so he's got a lot of field. But we're going to have actually three attacks. We can block one for free. And then we're going to have to do something about two of them. One of them will be able to get out of it just like that. And the other will be able to get out of it with that. So let's do that. Okay, not a bad trash. I mean, we would like to have that. We can use that. And then I would like to save this for this. So let's go ahead and do, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Okay. So yeah, another fucking Sanji's peel off. Um, we're getting close, and frankly, between the Sanji's peel off and the uh, the um, Kaya, we could take that to six, and then we would have. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. We'll trash here. Am I doing? What happened? Uh, we got to concede. I guess it was all of the Kayas. Uh, and then to see that I had another one. Because you remember how I spaced them out earlier in the game. I told you I would see them again. Uh, so we had Kaya. We were at... That brought us down to six. Okay. So that was going to bring us down to four. And then that was going to bring us down to two. And then virtually anything I do, you know, all I got to do is hang on to this. And then that's game. You know what I'm saying? He swings at me one time and that's game. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's how that would have went into that match. Okay, apologies. Uh, I was running a different deck list from the one that we were supposed to be running. So now we're going to go ahead and see if we can find any matches with that. We find an Enel. Now this match is supposed to be abysmal for Enel. So let's see how this works out. Um, so far, I don't want to see this in my hand, but this and this is I... This can help us search for uh, the dance. I'll keep it. And I'll play this out. 
see what we can get and get a dance. I knew we were going to see fucking Kyos immediately. Damn it, man. All right. Choose no targets. And we're going to have to, let's try and get to them. Let's try and get them to the bottom real quick. Let's try and get to them really quick, I should say. So this one could be a little rough. Uh, we're going to go ahead and in turn, the second he swings at us, we're going to use this one and this one. Ooh. So he can get nine at us. I'm going to go ahead and just take that attack. And absolutely, absolutely. Select one card to trash. I'll do that. Okay, we're getting some love, love beams. Getting some love out here. I like it. Let's just draw two cards and pass it back to him. So two things to think about before you swing into a uh, Nami. Okay, right now he has us where, yeah, we're, we are not going to get that. So we'll go ahead and take that as well. Big trigger, big trigger. Mm, big trigger. Um, no, I'm going to, no trigger effect. Those are, those are too valuable. Okay. Um, and now we wait. No, um, I think we're good. We don't want to play this because we really don't want to trash. Oh, well, we can hopefully find a Kaya, I guess. So let's trash, let's trash here. And, uh, let's trash here yeah and we do get a kaya boom shakalaka i didn't i should have looked at that see i should have looked at that i'm fucking up okay um the blockers are cool we can get rid of one of these we can get rid of two of these yeah and then we can he's got nobody on the field so i feel good doing that um if he wants to swing into me, he's going to have to pop here, which he can do, but maybe he'll pop here instead. Hopefully he pops the blocker and then swings and then we can do our thing. Put the Kai at the bottom of the life. Nice. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do another Apis and uh, let's trash here. And... Uh, now let's trash here and let's see yeah we almost bricked damn that sucks dude okay so all of our dances are going to be at the bottom of the deck fyi twenty seven okay shit um I'm going to be really serious, guys. I don't know how. Okay. No more searches like this because we are getting close to our Kayas. And that's the problem. So we're going to go ahead and just leave it all up. The first thing I'm going to do is draw here. Uh, fuck, that sucks, dude. It sucks to... <sighs> it sucks to decide whether I want to trash or not. But... I mean, that's why I didn't... Well, we got five life, so we can kind of... Yeah, there's nothing to think about. We can go ahead and take now. Nice. There we go, baby. And then this one's going to draw me into the other Kaya. Damn it. All right, we get rid of that one. I don't want to go into the next play with only two. With only three. But we got a blocker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go ahead and trash. Let's go ahead and trash here. No, no, no. Let's trash here. Let's play this out. Damn it. I thought for sure we were going to get another Kai. I thought the Kai's were all together. What happened to that? What the fuck's going on? I fixed my deck. I, I thought they were supposed to be together. That's weird. Here we are drawing more cards and still not seeing our Kaya. That's really, really, really fucked up. Okay, let's play him out. 
Let's play him over them. And let's activate main. And trash that card. We got another one. We're down to 18. Where are our Kayas? We, I don't, the last thing I want to do is fucking bottom deck all my fucking Kayas. I'm going to play her out because we're going to get a lot of dances, I bet. And Bands of Maker dances. We're not. We can get this. I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to leave myself with just four because I'm going to draw one more. There we go. Okay, so we got another Kaya. Um, I got one, two. Nah, we want to do nine and then two and two. We got two blockers. We got two life. Oh, that's the other Kaya right there. Okay, so we're about to draw. If I play this Kaya, I'm going to draw my other Kaya. Huh. Should I do that? Nah, let's, let's work with four. Let's work with four. That's going to get me out of an attack. That's going to get me out of two attacks. Excuse me. Thought I had an idea. When did this happen? When did that happen? I don't remember him getting that guy. Man, I've really been playing Solitaire. So we can confirm that that deck, it requires no... It requires no interaction because I did not even know he played a fucking, fucking serial fucking 10 drop ace on my ass. Okay, so now we are down to 15. Nice. Um, this will draw me into the uh, dances. So we're, we're automatically getting rid of that. Two, four, six would take us down to seven. So we got we got some stuff we can get rid of, but let's get rid of this instead. Let's play out another one and hopefully get into a dance. No, uh, I think this would get us to one of the dances. I believe I searched that first and then let's get us a dance. That, ah. Oh. Well, we'll get that. Okay, then let's put you at the bottom. That way, if I draw you last, and then that'll get us to the dances. I'm trying to go to the dances. There we go. And then there's two more of these after that. I'm trying to go to the dances, pa. Okay, so we got dance, dance, revolution. Let's do that. Oh, select two cards of trash. Fuck me. Let me see. Oh my God, not in all fucking caps. Just ticked. Okay, so uh, we gotta get rid of two cards. Let's get rid of this one uh, and we can get rid of we can get rid of that one as well I guess yes yeah. alright um, okay so they're gonna use this right oh well they can't they can't yeah they can't because they're still too healthy now we're in a crazy position because we still have, um, they did get rid of the blocker and whatever, but like we got, we got Annie. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a Kaya back or do we want to do this on this? We can no blocker. Blocker, no blocky. And we can trash here. Give us that. Trash cards from deck. Oh no! What did I do? Then we can do this. And this. And this. And that. And then, yeah. 
we're good because uh, this is going to cause us to draw a card, draw a card, and then we do need to get these Kayas back ASAP. ASAP. Um, I'm going to do no blocker. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was... Man, this thing's... this The Sim is really fucking... It's fucking me good today. Okay, so now we'll do... No blocker, another dance, choose our leader this time, take that, and then now we get to use the 2k, it all makes sense now, that's what they're there for, because you can grab them with the old lady, lady big lips, and then keep it moving. Okay, now with this we are going to, I guess we could block, or we could draw and see if we get a trigger. Let's see if we get a trigger. No trigger. Fuck me. Okay. Fuck. Okay, so we want to keep that. We'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. And then we want to play that. And then we're getting rid of that and that. And then that's the game. And that's how you play against Enel. Um, it was a uh, interesting choice of them to no blocker. Just we'll, we'll we'll end it like that because we like her. Uh, <laughs> look at his booty though. That's funny. He's got a little boot out there. Uh, anyways, okay. So there you go for Enel's matchup, right? Okay. So now what they were doing is they were going wide, then they were picking swinging nine nine nine. I think the big mistake they made here was uh playing with these uh playing out these katakuris and actually bottom decking because they gave me more life they gave me more room to play with so yeah but that's two metas down let's see what else we can find we're going up against a jewelry bonnie uh the one thing you guys missed was that I chose to go first because if they play a searcher, I can swing into that searcher the same turn. You know what I'm saying? Because they'd have to play it and then rest it. That's why you always want to go first against Bonnie. And then they can't play kid on on whatever. But uh, I guess it's different because it's Nami. But anyhow, uh, see what they're doing right there. Um, and then they can't rest my Kaya. I had a Kaya. As you can see, this is my opening hand. I had a Kaya and I had the old lady and them. So I played her out immediately, trashed that card. And I think my next turn, I'm going to go ahead and go into, I think I will, huh, I think I'll go ahead and start looking for that dance. No dance. We'll take this. I got a lot of these. I got a lot of these. Now pass. Now let's see what they do this time. Surely they'll play a character for four. I imagine they want to go wide, or maybe they want to swing at me. They choose to swing at me. I will go ahead and uh, I'm going to block. I do like to con I do like to keep that card typically. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this. Smoke them if you got them. Um, I do like to keep that card because it helps me fix my deck, but right now, you know, the game is young, I guess I can afford to lose one. I, I just didn't want to waste one on a, on a five because it does come back to haunt you when they're swinging big and, you know, you could have blocked out with that 1k and you didn't. And all you need to do is hang on for one more turn to, to, to win. So we are going to seven next turn. It would suck to use the love, love beam and not be able to draw a card that kind of chaps my ass. But we'll see what that's about. Okay. Man, I'm going to take it. Fuck yeah. Um... Give up to one of your leaders plus one. Okay, return one card to your hand. Yeah, let's do that. Choose, use effect. Take this one and... Hey. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to use them. Uh, yeah. And it's my turn. Bro, we got the Kayas on lock. You can turn that lady sideways. I don't give a fuck. Okay, so we're going to... Two ways to go about this. We can save Kayas and then just blow them up towards the end. Or we can... You may trash one card up to one of your... Uh, let's get rid of that for right now. Fuck it, let's just run them. And that would go down to two. Fuck yeah, we just seen all of our cars. All right. All right, all right, all right. So I would like to see my dances now, but of course I have one, two, three of my searchers for those dances down there. So if we're going to see them, we're going to have to see them the old fashioned way. Um, I don't have any more Kai's in the deck, so I don't care about letting that go. Hmm. Hmm. If I did that, now let's go ahead and take it. Damn it. And you can just six and then I'll, oh, you're not going to. Okay. Um, we don't want to swing cause they're going to rest our Kaya. Let's do a Kaya. Let's do it with this. And, um, Let's get rid of that. Let's play this out. And then we will chill. Cool. Be cool. Oh, no, no, no. What does it say in Batman Forever? Or Batman and Robin? Chill. Chill. They had him drive through the fucking wall. And they gave him one fucking line for that whole scene. I said, Arnold, just tell him to chill, dog. Just tell him to fucking chill. No blocker. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to look at the top three. Start placing on the bottom, man. We don't want to see those cards. And we're good. They swing a six. I had a feeling that that would happen. Oh, he's choosing to rest Don. There's an idea. There's one way for me to go fuck myself. So now he's got three attacks. I thought this was supposed to be another abysmal ass matchup. This is actually not that bad for him, I feel like. I mean, you can say, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I mean, still. If they go big... Then I block, and then I, oh, snap. Snap out of it. I'll take that. And then you swing big with that one. Oh, you can still swing with him. Damn, this. Now if you swing eight, I'll give you these two. Yeah. Nine? Where did the, no oh, because it's, yikes. I take and four less the owner's hand what are we looking like now nah, we need everything we can get dude that's the problem we gotta dance we gotta dance fucking trash you and uh Yeah, we're really trying to find those dances, so we'll go ahead and keep you. And I guess we can 
Yeah. Okay, so now we're really trying to get these dances off, dog. I think we've only used one. The rest of them are in our deck or this last life. We got one. Yeah. Holy moly. Well, at least in this in this circumstance, we didn't need that many um, stuff. Okay, so for that, you're going to get a 2K. He knows to swing nine. Let's go ahead and let's dance. Man, I always almost do that shit. Yeah, we want the dance in our hand. We want that dance. And then the next one. We play that, we get the dance. Dance will make her dance. Dance, bitch. All right. Still got a long haul, but. We just got to take that one. Fuck yeah. Yo, that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. All right. So we are not making it out of this alive. No way in hell. It looks like Bonnie is the one. Looks like Bonnie's the one to beat this deck. All right, let's do some math, shall we? Draw a card. Cool. Uh, let's say this. Um, let's put it like. Let's do that. Start like that. Cool. Let's do that. Yeah. What? You're supposed to draw me the love love beam. What the fuck was that, dude? Now I'm going to trash love love beam. I got to. Yeah, that's fucking booty juice, dude. I did not set it up like that, man. Yeah, well, this is, yeah, that was it. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I wasn't going to survive anyways. What was, I, what was I bullshitting about? I go eat. I feel you. All right. Well, there you have it, gang. So uh, we've got the mommy nami. And uh, we were going up against a winning list. And uh, we were playing a winning list against uh, what was our first match? I can't even remember the first one now. It's been so long. I know that we played against Enel. And I know that we played against somebody else. And then we just had Bonnie. Bonnie will take it out of me, dog. Just playing that matchup is just like, oh, my God. Uh, but anyhow, so you guys got to see how this is working out. I don't think it's the big bad that everybody should be worried about. I think uh, there's definitely ways to tech. Or not even tech. I think it has a lot to do with matchup knowledge. As you saw right there, um, the thing is, is that if you're not swinging against me, the only way that I'm milling cards is by Kaya, right? Um, and I can be searching and drawing one card, right? That's cool. But my bread and butter is going to be, you know, the trashing two and uh, cycling Kaya's. And those cause me to trash cards, getting these out of my triggers. These cause me to draw, draw on trash cards. Um, 
that play that well i was gonna lose anyways they had so many attacks but so that's how i beat the uh kaya's last time i was playing black yellow luffy i just went wide when they had a bunch of don up i and and cards i was like well i'm going to set up my shit right i'm gonna set my big ass board up and then I'm going to swing nine. So you kind of treat them the same way you do black, yellow, Luffy, where you don't even bother swinging if it isn't nine. Because what you're putting your opponent in is the, the uh, what's that, uh, the barrier, that Trafalgar Law, you know, the the dome. You're putting them in that little space where uh, you're putting them, you're, you're leaving them in shambles. Because you want to use this to go up to nine but you don't want to use this to go up to nine and then this to go up to, to, to 13, you know, uh, maybe this to go up to nine and then that to go to 11 and blah, blah, blah. But now you're getting two events from me, right? You're getting this event and this event, you're getting three Dawn out of me, right? So I can only, a, a, a Kaya can, excuse me, a Nami player can only do that so many times. So, uh, that's how the engine works. I think that when people realize you build big, you go wide, and then you swing when you're ready to swing, uh, yeah, I think that's that's going to be the deciding factor. Uh, there's a card that uh, I believe it was Carnage telling me about, and it's uh, Brick Fist. Okay. So with this Brick Fist, uh, it came out in 02. Man, that's a deep cut there. Carnage. Um, he runs breakfast and it's main return up to one character with a cost of four or less to the owner's hand. So I'm assuming he plays that out. He plays out a breakfast, plays that out. You see what I'm saying? Uh, what is the trigger? Activate this card's main effect. Uh, that's pretty fucking cool, dude. You know what I mean? So there are ways to go around it and to keep your agenda furthering as a Nami player. But, um, you know, this guy got by, and, and, and here's the other thing with these lists, guys. Um, you got to understand that I can't tell you how many perfect storms, and I, and I, I know that I'm saying this in the same, in, in the today's video, which is the Black Yellow Luffy that I'm uploading. I'm recording this the same day I uploaded that. But uh, you got to remember that the winning deck list, it has a lot to do with who that person saw. You know, I'm going to say this and I'm going to say this in so many videos. You either know what you're doing with your cards or you don't. Then you either see your cards or you don't. And then you either see the right opponent or you don't. If any one of those things are off, you're off, right? If you don't know what you're doing, you can see the best cards. You can see the right opponent, <laughs> best cards, right opponents. You can see the best cards, right opponents, and you're going to get fucked, right? If you know what you're doing, and you don't see your cards. You can't do shit, right? If you know what you're doing, you see your cards, you see the wrong opponent. You could still win, but it could be a 70-30. You know what I mean? Against your favor, right? Not in your favor. If you see the right cards, you know what you're doing with them. You see the right opponent, your golden pony boy. Um, I can't tell you how many of these lists that I followed and you really find out who they were playing and you're like, oh, you only played one in or oh, you only played one. You didn't play any any luchis. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like uh there there there's a lot of there's a lot of that and it's not meant to these these comments aren't meant to take anything away from the players because obviously you know they did what no one else was able to do and that is you know go undefeated and uh i mean shit when i go undefeated y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me shit you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be a very happy man i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck if all i saw was my deck's weakness i'm fucking taking all that to the bank dog so uh but just remember that that's the but that's the case and scenario and when people are like oh yo this deck is it this deck is gonna win that deck is gonna win it doesn't mean everybody playing that deck is gonna win you see what i'm saying it doesn't mean it's an automatic it doesn't mean everyone automatically knows what they're doing i obviously made mistakes um and i fancy myself to be a more than decent uh one piece one piece player for sure but anyhow um that's the list um that's the uh you know all credit to my guy here who got came in first place the hell is that um and that's gonna be that for this video so this has been nami in the op07 i purposely dodged uh law to see if i could you know play anything else than what's going to be um what's going to be banned 
but I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you kind of figured out what the NAMI player is looking to do. And so now you can either learn how to play the NAMI or learn how to play against it. But either way, I really would appreciate a like, a subscribe, a comment. Let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what you would do differently. Because I definitely know there's this deck is very deep and it, and it takes a lot of understanding and it's a lot of fun. It takes a lot of forethought. And I'm able to do it here and there, but I just wasn't thinking with every with all intention on every search. And when I put them back in the bottom, I know I wasn't doing that every time. But uh, anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this has been Murado Music with Three Piece TCG. Big, big TCG. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Flows like a faucet, swag dripping like a faucet. Dooney fixing, got Luffy ambition. King of the rappers, the mission. I see they got the lights, camera, but no action. They actually fiction.